Well, Congresswoman Cindy Axney is coming out swinging against Republican opponent Zach Nunn. Her newest ad evokes a deadly amusement park accident in the Metro. KCCI's Marcus McIntosh is here tonight. Marcus, the ad drawing controversy tonight. It sure is. Congresswoman Cindy Axney's campaign released its first TV ad of the 2022 cycle, basically blaming Zach Nunn for the 2021 Raging River tragedy at Adventureland that claimed the life of 11 year old Michael Jaramillo. A child died. Zach Nunn put his big donors ahead of the safety of Iowa families. I'm Cindy Axney, and I approve this message because I'll always put Iowa families first. This was a tough ad that felt like getting hit in the head with a baseball bat. That is KCCI political analyst Dennis Goldford's first reaction to the ad. An ad, he says, sends a clear message. Representative Axney is basically saying to Zach Nunn, don't mess with me. While Zach Nunn was not available for comment, Jeff Kaufman, chair of the Iowa Republican Party, had plenty to say about the negative ad. This crosses the bar. This, this moves into despicable territory. Uh, this moves beyond spin to absolute lies. It, it just reeks of desperation. We received a statement from the Axney for Congress campaign a few hours after the ad first aired Tuesday morning. Congresswoman Cindy Axney's campaign released her first TV ad of the 2022 cycle, which highlights her opponent Zach Nunn's dangerous record of putting his wealthy donors above the safety of Iowa families. A tragedy that could have been avoided, but Zach Nunn took money from Adventureland CEO, then sponsored legislation to loosen amusement park safety rules. Kaufman calls the content grossly misleading, adding if Congresswoman Axney is drawing the line from Nunn to the tragedy, her pen needs to have a lot of blue ink. The Democratic chair, Ross Wilbur, voted yes to the bill. Jennifer Confirst, the Democratic minority leader, voted yes to the bill. We reached out to the Axie campaign for an interview and were told the Congresswoman is not available today and they want the ad to speak for itself. We also reached out to the Iowa Democratic Party, but Chair Ross Wilburn was unavailable due to a packed schedule ahead of the party state convention this weekend. James.